Little Prince Hilarion's hopes be sadly blighted. Who can tell? Who can tell? Will Ida break the vows that she has plighted? Who can tell? Who can tell? Will she back out and say she did not mean them? Who can tell? If so, there'll be the deuce to pay between them. No, no, we'll not despair. We'll not despair. sign of Gama? None, my liege. It's very odd indeed. If Gama failed to bring the Princess Ida here, to whom our son Hilarion was betrothed at the early age of one, there's war between King Gama and ourselves. Oh, oh. oh Cyril, how I dread this interview. It's 20 years since he and I had met. He was a twisted monster, all awry. As though Dame Nature, angry with her work, had crumpled it in fitful petulance. But stay, my liege. O'er yonder mountain's brow comes a small body bearing Gama's arms. Ah, is the princess with them? Ah, uh, well, my liege, unless her highness is a full six feet high and wears mustachios too and smokes cigars and rides en cavalier in coat of steel, I do not think she is. <laughs> One never knows. She's a strange girl, I've heard, and does odd things. Ooh. Come, bustle there. For Gama, lay the richest robes we own. For Gama, place the coarsest prison dress. For Gama, let our best spare bed be aired. For Gama, let the deepest dungeon yawn. For Gama, lay the costliest banquet out. For Gama, place cold water and dry bread. For as King Gama brings the Princess Ida here or brings her not, so shall King Gama have much more than everything, much less than nothing. 